Today we're talking about part two on how to improve your FPS aim and settings. Let's get back into it. All right, guys, so now that you have your base sensitivity, you're gonna notice a huge change in your game. Uh, not only are you gonna start hitting your shots, but when you start hitting your shots, it's gonna like really boost your confidence in your gameplay. It's gonna really help you take yourself to that next level, knowing that you have the ability to engage a fight and know that you're gonna hit your shots based on that you've dialed in your sensitivity on your mouse. It's a huge confidence booster and you'll start seeing results right away. Now, the next step that I was talking about was practice. I mean, you wanna get better at anything, you practice at it, um, you put the time into it. Now, this is kind of a side, side thing. You don't have to practice with something like this. These tools exist and they are effective and I know this from personal experience. Um, I'm gonna post some clips or post. I'm going to play some clips for you guys here in a second of my play before using these tools and then my play uh, of two weeks, I believe, of using these tools. Um, and the difference in the footage is unbelievable. I'm actually going to use footage from an earlier video I posted, um, a highlight video. And knowing what I know now, it's kind of embarrassing that I posted that as a highlight. Um, still cool video. Don't get me wrong. No hate there. Um, and also if you've been following me on social media, I lost my hat, but I found it as you can see in between loading that up and this up, my little one came in, he was rocking the hat and I was like, dude, you're my hero. You just found my hat. So hat has been found. So mystery solved. And if you're not following up on the socials, make sure you uh, grab that Twitter and that Instagram because uh, I do things like IRL stuff. Like when I went to go get my tattoo that we have five more hours going into this tattoo uh, coming up here too. So a lot of uh, IRL uh, out of the chair. It's the unplugged series on Instagram um, just to kind of see what we do during the day, go to tattoo appointments and just cool stuff like that. So make sure you follow up on that. So now back to the video. Um, you do not have to use these trainers, but let me tell you again, from personal experience, they work, they work. If Apex isn't your cup of tea or you want a more well-rounded tool, this is the winner right here. It is free. It is called Aim Lab. It is in Steam. This thing is awesome. I mean, this has, um, everything you're going to need. Uh, it's, you know, I'm going to actually fire this up. If you're not an Apex player, uh, that's okay. I really suggest Aim Lab. Now I'm going to show you what this is about. This has different challenges that you can do every day um, to make yourself better. It obviously tracks all of your scores. It tracks everything. Um, it's in very early access. Um, oh, look at that. You get some free skins and stuff. But what you're going to do is you're going to load this up through Steam. You go to Tasks. And regardless of what game you play, this will help your aim, your reaction time. Um, I mean, everything, tracking, flicking, speed, precision, everything, you name it, it is in this tool. Why did you just close? Not cool, bro. Anyway, so then you can also go to the training modes. You can go to customs. They have uh, people build um, different training playlists for you to do. Um, and I also downloaded, um, an apex trainer in here. Um, I mean, man, there's some crazy things you can do, but obviously it tracks everything you do. If you don't want to spend the money on an apex one or a call of duty one or a CSGO one aim lab is where it's at. So definitely put some time in there. Like I said, I've been doing two weeks of aim lab. Um, and I have noticed such a big difference in my play and my just reaction time and everything. It has been absolutely incredible. So yeah, definitely check that out. Aim lab. And now, now that you've got the tools, uh, your sensitivity, you've got your tools for, you know, the practice sessions. Now it comes down to putting the time into the games, putting the time into the practice and really just honing your skills, reacting to different things. Um, before I let you go, I want to roll these clips. Um, the first clip is before finding my sensitivity, 
before using, um, you know, practice tools like the aim lab and apex trainer. Um, and you can see a huge difference between this first clip and the second clip. The second clip, um, is like I said, I think it was like two weeks after I started, uh, getting my sensitivity dialed in and practicing with the aim lab and apex trainer and just the speed in which I find the target and stay on target is incredible. And it's, you're talking two weeks and I'm not talking like two weeks, you know, <laughs> Monday through Friday from 9am to 4pm. We're talking like once a week for like an hour or twice a week for like an hour. I never did it longer than an hour because fatigue starts to play effect and then your scores start going down. Oh, you get tired and you start thinking about everything else besides what you're trying to focus on. So don't, don't kill yourself. Um, just like going to the gym, getting back into the gym. Um, you don't just work out for eight hours straight like you do sometimes when you've been going to the gym. So I don't know anybody that works out eight hours straight. If you do, you're an absolute legend. Um, but the idea is hop in there, make sure you're having fun. Don't kill yourself in the training but you will see results just like anything else. You stick to it, you practice it, you'll see results. So I'm going to roll these clips. I'm not going to do a huge long outro. So you know how YouTube works. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, turn the notification bells on and do me one small favor before you watch these clips. Head down to the comments. Let me know if you like this type of video. Um, if I should do more in-depth product on stuff that I'm working, in-depth product reviews on stuff that I've been working with or working on. Um, just let me know because if you guys find this stuff useful, I will do a series, um, devoted to making you a better player based on my, um, I guess you want to call it, you know, self-taught experience, uh, you know, just kind of grinding it out the hard way and sharing the tools and the journey that I have. And I do a lot of that on Instagram. Um, but if you find that stuff useful, I will do a series on, you know, making yourself a better player, things you can do for that sort of thing. So enjoy the clips, laugh along with them on those first set of clips because they are funny and you will see an insane difference. Why won't you stop? Inside? I'm inside, the above you. Reload. Ah. Oh God. Got him. All right, guys, as you can see in those clips, I had so much inconsistency in my aim. I would miss to the right. I would overcompensate and miss to the left. Then I would miss high. Then I'd miss right. And that is just due to not knowing my sensitivity and that overcompensation uh, just kills you. It hurts you so bad. So the next set of clips is me after two weeks of figuring out my sensitivity um, and messing around with the aim labs. Um, if you play more FPS shooters than just the one, I suggest doing the aim labs. So I grab both of them. Um, I would do the aim labs cause it's free and it's its own platform. So it's kind of a overall uh, experience and you can bring that sensitivity that you found from part one, which is right there if you miss that. Um, you can bring that sensitivity into any game and you can kind of tweak it a little bit just based on, you know, uh, which game you're playing. So, um, again, hopefully you guys check out these after clips, see a difference and we'll see you after the clip. Shot. This way. We finished the squad. 
attention. That's how you get the I got you. All right, guys, I hope you can see the difference between before and after I implemented those things that I told you, finding your mouse sensitivity and messing around with aim labs. And if you're playing Apex, Apex Trainer, um, it is $4.99 for Apex Trainer, like I said before, but if you make a small investment into what you love, you'll only get better at it um, with time and practice and all that good stuff. So um, hopefully you saw the difference in between the two. Um, I can't wait to get back to the live streams Tuesday, 1.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, it's going to be awesome to get back into it. Um, the more confidence I got in my game, that all those clips were one game. So six kills in one game versus, you know, my average of like one or two um, per game. It, it just helps you with your confidence. It helps you, uh, you know... Uh, hit those shots and it and that makes such a big difference. It makes me want to play the game more the better that I get at it um, And the reason why I left uh, That last clip a little bit longer to show you that uh, my teammate revived me That's gonna segue into part three of this series and that is decision-making um, and strategy so we're gonna be talking about that in the next uh, video part three of make yourself a better FPS uh, aim and overall player series that I want to do. So let me know in the comments if you find this uh, information useful. You know how YouTube works. If you're new here, tap that subscribe button, hit the like button if you've been here before, and turn the notification bell on so you can join us in those live streams. Thank you guys for checking this out. I had a blast making this. These type of videos are amazing because they're useful. I uh, can't wait to do part three. Check you later, guys.